hey you all welcome back to my channel to girl ij so this is a very very much requested video from tiktok to make random relationship advice and these are just random relationship advice that will work for male and female so uh, these are advice that i wish i had known earlier but they still apply now so i just want to share with you some random relationship advice that will help your relationship or that will help your next relationship. So keep watching. And the first one on my list is some people will never change. It's not your problem to try and fix them. It's their problem. Now, a lot of, especially women, think they are fixers. They think they need to fix a man or you, you as a man think you need to fix a woman. Now, it is not your problem to try and fix people stop thinking you can fix someone stop stop saying he's broken oh i'll try to fix him or her, her, her ex treated her like trash so i'll treat her better and she's you know going to be good don't try to fix people you end up hurting yourself and needing somebody to fix you also or you end up letting that person treat you as trash and you think it's the normal thing because you are trying to fix them so it's not your duty to try and fix someone that's why we have therapists people who try to fix people that's their job that's what they've studied and them trying to fix that person doesn't like rub off on them because they know how to handle such sort of situation so you're not a therapist don't try to fix broken people it's not your problem to fix it's their problem to fix them and sometimes when you're with broken people they try to make you feel like you are the problem because they may not even know that they are so damaged so stop trying to fix to fix broken people it is not your problem to try and fix them it is their problem to try and fix them okay the second one on my list is always try to heal from an old relationship before you move on to the next one now a lot, of, a lot of us are so much in a hurry to jump into a new relationship without fully healing from the past one if you need if you are broken if you are if you were hurt in your past relationship if something happened that that didn't go well that made the relationship end make sure you heal from your past so that you can move into the next relationship as a happy person because this is what leads to breakups upon breakup upon breakups because a lot of you do not heal from your past hurt you just jump into the next relationship with all the baggages from the previous relationship so make sure you heal from your past before you move on to the next relationship if you need to cry make sure you cry do not do not act like i'm all strong like men will say oh, men don't cry my brother if you're hot cry if you need to cry cry if you need to yell yell if you need to burn some clothes if you need to break something if you need to travel if you need to leave social media for one year by all means do it but make sure you do everything that will make you heal if you need to see a therapist make sure you see them make sure you are fully healed so you don't take all your problem into another relationship and ruin that person's life also okay the third thing on my list is stop apologizing for expressing yourself now a lot of people will think we want to make you feel bad because you're trying to express yourself and like for instance they're treating you unfairly in a relationship and you try to each time you try to explain how you feel how they make you feel they just turn everything against you and then you start apologizing oh i'm sorry it's because i love you oh i'm sorry it's because i was missing you oh i'm sorry no if they don't appreciate that you are very open to express your feelings then they don't deserve you then you should not even be with them in the first place so do not apologize for expressing yourself if you miss him and you call him and then he's like why are you always calling me why are you this do not start saying oh i'm so sorry it's because i miss you or i mean he something happened that that didn't go that's not that's very disrespectful to you and you are open about it saying oh this was very disrespectful you shouldn't have done this and blah 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 and then they start acting oh you 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 are too dramatic and all that do not apologize for expressing yourself because if you keep apologizing they're not going to recognize you they are only going to see you like every little thing you apologize and they're not going to value you and if it's something that they did to disrespect you and you were not open about it and instead you apologize for reacting they're going to keep disrespecting you that way and you do not want to be in such relationship so do not apologize for expressing yourself and the next thing i'm going to tell you is if people keep if people keep walking out of your life let them go 
okay stop chasing people when they walk out of your life if they don't want to be in your life then let them go don't let people keep making you feel like it's okay for them to keep threatening you i'm leaving or and then they leave and then you start chasing them and begging them to come back and then they come back again and because they know if they leave again you're going to keep begging them they're going to keep doing that they're not going to value you so if people walk out on your life walk out of your life let them go stop chasing people stop trying to make people stay if they wanted to stay in the first place they will stay so stop making them use that as a weapon for them to keep walking out because they know you're going to keep coming back for them if they want to walk out of your life let them walk out of your life trust me let them go the next on my list is never negotiate your value in a relationship if they don't see it then that's it okay do not negotiate your value okay don't be here and trying to tell them oh this it's okay i can come down here for you no okay do not negotiate your value in a, in any relationship don't negotiate it don't let them make you feel like oh you're too big or you're too this you need to come down you need to do this no your value is your value don't let it go down okay it's not about being rude it's not about being arrogant or anything do not you know yourself don't limit yourself don't shrink yourself so that you can be digestible for anybody no let you need to be you at every time place your value stay in your value okay so that when someone sees that value and respects that value then they really want you in their life or then they really want to be in your life so do not shrink for anybody place your value this high work according to your value it's not it's not bragging it's not living the fake life it's just value yourself this the, the place you put yourself be there okay if you don't if, don't let anybody talk you down in front of in, in public don't let anybody believe to you don't let a man or a woman tell you you are small you're worthless and then you just digest it because you're in a relationship with them they keep using abusive words on you they keep laying their hands on you and you keep accepting it because you're in love with them no don't let don't negotiate your value in a relationship don't make excuses when they start to treat you like trash walk away from that relationship do not negotiate your value in a relationship if they cannot digest you then they are not ready to have you in their life the way you are so do not negotiate your value in a relationship okay. and the last thing on my list today is avoid people who always talk bad about their ex yes now a lot of people who want to want to get into a relationship with you and then the only thing they have to talk about their ex is how bad their, their ex is how she wasn't anything how she was trash how you know all of that the thing is they probably might have been the problem in that relationship so do not just avoid people like that people who only have bad to talk about their ex who doesn't want to say like what the, their own part they played that made that relationship not to work but all they have to do is to say oh she was a slut she was a whore or he was a cheat he was this he was that avoid such people chances are they were the major problem in that relationship so that's a very huge red flag when you're trying to get into a relationship so avoid people who only have bad things to say about their ex because i mean then how did you even start the relationship what did you even see that made you start the relationship with them now how come you never had any happy time with them or they were never anything but you still dated them for a while so avoid such people who said who say shit about your ex because chances are you guys might even break up one day and imagine all the crazy things he's going to talk about you or she's going to talk about you so if someone is always just talking bad about your ex immediately you start talking to them that's a huge red flag and you should avoid getting into such relationship now this is the end for today's video i'm going to be making a part two a follow-up on this video real soon if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the notification bell and the subscribe button make sure you drop a like in this video i will see you next time stay loved stay beautiful and bye for now Mwah.